Hey, what's up you guys? Yes. <laughs> What's up WVU? My name is Sydney Luther. I'm a senior studying secondary education. I'm so excited to take you through some of my experiences here on campus. So as you can probably see, it's a pretty snowy day here in Morgantown. Um, it's getting in my eye a little bit, um, but I'm actually on my way to go study um, and do some homework because there's a lot to do this week and a lot of lesson planning I have to do. So one of my favorite places to study on campus is definitely the Evansdale Crossing. Um, I like going to the fifth floor where you can get some really good coffee um, and study with some friends. Alright, so we are all settled in at the crossing. We have our coffee and some note cards and um, we're ready to go. So when I first moved on to campus, um, I moved into Lion Tower freshman year and I haven't left since. So for the past three years, I've been living here as an RA. Um, res life has been a huge part of uh, my experience here on campus um, and definitely one of the biggest things that I've been involved with. Since it is Women's uh, History Month, I wanted to give you guys a rundown as we go through my experience um, on uh, some amazing women uh, who were on campus before or are still on campus today. Um, so one of the first people that I think we should touch base on is Harriet Lyon, since I do live in Lyon Tower. So she was the first female graduate graduate from WVU. So it's super empowering to live in a building that was named after her. And if you go right downstairs in the main lobby, there's um, a picture of her. So every month we do a new bulletin board. So, we are about to do one for Women's History Month. So, for our board, we decided to do um, Wonderful Women. And it's also pretty cool because this year I have an all-girls floor. Um, so this really starts the conversation about Women's History Month for all of us. of res life um, I have been involved with student government since freshman year um, it really got me involved on campus right away and um, my position freshman year I started out as an intern and fast forward to senior year I am now the intern director which is really cool to um, see it come in full circle so this week on campus are the SGA elections. Now I'm not running this year, so I'm just out here to look at all the campaigns and see what they're doing this week. And um, I'll give you a little rundown about the process. So the first thing to know about campaign season is that um, it starts at midnight normally on a Saturday and it starts with the banner drop. So all of the teams come out and they drop their banners at midnight and then active campaigning starts. Uh, after the candidates all go out and campaign during the day, then they come back and at night there is what's called a candidates debate. So all the senators, potential senators, um, will all debate and um, explain their platforms uh, to an audience. Um, anybody can come and listen. It's in the middle of the mountain layer. This really gives um, voters a chance to listen to and think about you know, what candidates um, they want to vote for. Alright, so today was the last day of campaigning, which means the election results start at 6 p.m. So I'm on my way there now to see who the next president and vice president will be um, and who the next set of senators will be for SGA. Uh, they will have inauguration at the end of March um, and that's when they'll take office. For the next student body, president and vice president. 
will be Kate Diet Hattie. Alright, so our new president and vice president just found out that they won and we actually just found out as well that they are the first females to um, win office together. How do you guys feel? Um, I think it's really awesome that this is the first time this has happened. We're really excited. Um, it's been a really crazy week. <laughs> yeah, it's, it feels really great to, to um, have gotten that honor and um, it's crazy that it hasn't happened before. Yay! All right, so we just had the election results, and I'm here with one of this year's senators. Hey guys, my name is Dominique Villasenor. I am a market or a junior marketing major. Um, I've been in SGA for this year. The friendships that you guys have and garner throughout the whole year is is incredible. Like these people are going to be doing um, crazy things throughout their life, and it's an honor to know them. It's an honor to know Sydney. Aww. Sid, after this is going <laughs> on, but, um, but yeah, like SGA has been awesome for me. And you create so many friendships and when you join a student org like this. Yes. Hey, what's up you guys? Yes. I'm a huge advocate of getting involved right when you get here on campus. Um, it really changed my life. You know, SGA was one of the biggest things that I got involved with right starting in freshman year and it just helped me develop so many wonderful friendships um, that I still have to this day as a senior. And there are so many student orgs that WVU has and I really encourage you to just look at our student org page. Um, you will, I promise you, you'll find something and there's nothing wrong with just showing up to a meeting even if it's halfway through the year. Um, um, everyone is really welcoming and really happy to have you there. Thanks for hanging out with me this week, WVU. I had so much fun. I'm talking to you about SGA and other ways to get involved on campus. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out. And as always, let's go Mountaineers.